Hello guys, today I'm going to be talking about aw the awesome 90s, the amazing 90s, whatever you want to call it, but I'm going to be reviewing a lot of stuff that, you know, us 90s kids grew up with, so first I'm going to start out with some of my favorites. Care Bears, if anyone remember, I know Care Bears have been around before the 90s, but I think they got really, really popular during the 90s, but <clears throat> this is actually my first Care Bear, Funshine, and he had a thing in his back where he sings and stuff, but I took it out to repair it and everything. Tenderheart is my favorite bear. He's my favorite out of all the Care Bears. He still works, but like all these that need batteries, that take batteries, don't have batteries in them. They're not broken, they just don't have batteries, but... Um, that's Tenderheart, and when you, like, hug him, he talks and stuff, I mean, he's so adorable, I love him so much. And, of course, this is another one of my personal favorites, Treasure Trolls. Does anybody remember Treasure Trolls? Oh my gosh, I have so many of these. Th this is just a few for my video. But yeah, those are Treasure Trolls, and apparently you're supposed to wish on their little tummy symbol. But no, these were my favorite because their eyes were like the same color as their hair or a similar color as their tummy symbol or, or their jewel. Like this one's got a purple one, purple eyes, purple hair. And this one's got pink jewel, pink eyes, pink hair. This one's a little different. I think that one's cool. But this one, these ones are made by Ace Novelty. These ones are the best ones, I believe. Like they made some by... Um, um, what company was it? Russ made some and their eyeballs looked like they were popping out of their head and they only made their eyes brown. Like really, these ones look the most realistic though and they're the cutest ones I believe. Then we have, I only have one My Little Pony here, I have a few more. This one's a newer one, like from 2004 or whatever, but when I was a kid they looked similar to that. And then around the 90s, we had Disney princess dolls. Oh my gosh, yes. Secret Hero Milan. Her hair comes off. And she's got this on. She's, Milan was one of my favorites. Pocahontas. I did her hair in a fishtail braid, but that's Pocahontas. Sleeping Beauty. She actually makes sounds. And her crown lights up. I'm not sure if you can hear that. My favorite Ariel doll from the 90s, Swimming Ariel. One doll, she's naked though, but one doll that got popular was the Britney Spears doll. I only have one and she is a complete wreck, but yeah. They came with bodies like regular Barbie dolls, except without the twist and turn waist. Yeah, Britney Spears when she was really popular in the 90s. And then Rosie O'Donnell, oh my gosh. Uh, me and my grandmother used to watch the Rosie O'Donnell show all the time. She would have like little skits of Barbie videos. So she wanted her own Barbie made. So when I found out that, since I'm a huge Barbie fan, oh my gosh, a bar huge Barbie gal, I had to have Rosie O'Donnell, but Granny wouldn't order her for me because she was a little expensive, I don't know. But I found her like a year ago. And she has her little jacket and best thing, but it's somewhere else. I have to find it. But she is like the first full-figured Barbie that I ever had. I'm not going to take her clothes off to show you, but, like, she's not fat. She's just thick. Her body is, like, thick, but she's got tiny, itty-bitty little feet like a Barbie doll. She's all squeaky like a Barbie, and her knees bend. Her knees bend like a Barbie. She looks like a Barbie doll, too. So I, I was, like, um, I was just like thrilled to find her. And then we got Toy Story, Woody, Jesse, and a little Woody. I've got like Buzz Lightyear and everything, but yeah, I grew up with Toy Story and I have so much Toy Story stuff. And then of course we have my favorite 90s Barbies. This one's actually not a real Barbie. She was a, as co Barbie collectors call them, she's a Barbie clone. But I thought she was really, really pretty. And get her hair out of her face. There. 
her face is really pretty. Kind of like a 50s style, but that's that one. And then they had crimped hair. This one is Locket Surprise Christie doll. And then we got, I know a lot of people remember this one, Totally Hair Barbie. She came with toe length hair. And then they also, they had the blank, the blinged out jewelry when Barbie wore like huge jewelry, necklaces, had the bees and flowers for panties and stuff and, and rings and stuff, glittery hair, awesome. That's the 90s Barbies. And then we got Furbies over here, if anybody remembers Furbies, oh my gosh, I do. They don't work, so I can't turn them on, but I have those. And then we have Sky Dancers. Yep. And those are Sky Dancers. And they're so amazing. One of my favorite toys from the 90s. And then we got Power Rangers. Anybody remember Power Rangers? Then we got Max Steel. I have so much. My bad. I have so much Max Steel stuff. This one's Bioconstrictor. He like has like, you take his head off, you unscrew his head, and he's got this tube, and he's got this thing in his mouth, and you fill this up with water, and then you press down on his head and water spurts out, so that's pretty cool. Max still was always what I preferred for my Barbies, so yeah. And then this one is Psycho, which Max still punches him right there, and his head explodes. So funny. And then we have one of my personal favorites, Archer from Small Soldiers. I love him so much. I just adore Archer. He was my favorite character. And he is, like, huge. So, yeah, I just, he talks too, but he doesn't have batteries, so... But I love, love, love Archer. He's so amazing. He's got really pretty detail in his face. Like his, I love his pretty green eyes. And I love his feline looking face. He looks like a cat. He's like, I ain't no cat. Yes, you are. You're a kitty kitty. And then we have this one. I'm not sure if this is from the 90s, but these were called Dolly Surprise Dolls. And their hair, basically, you twist the, one of the arms and the hair goes in the head and it gets shorter. And then, and then you push up on one of the arms and the hair gets, like, grows long again. So, yeah, that was one of those. And then we have um, Salem from, I'm not sure if. Sabrina the Teenage Witch came out in the 90s or 2000s, but this is Salem from Sabrina. And then we have Real Talkin' Bubba over here. Oh my gosh, do y'all remember Real Talkin' Bubba? Oh my gosh. None of them talk because they don't have batteries, but... Yeah, that is all of my 90s stuff. And then I have this big bag of Bouncy balls. Those are really popular in the 90s as well. I have a whole collection of those. Get them out of a quarter machine. I'm not sure if they still make them or not, but... <sighs> Anyhow, that is my 90s review of toys I grew up with. And I've got so much other 90s stuff. Uh, some of it I couldn't find. But this is just a huge portion of it, so... I will see you guys later, and be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. See you later, bye!